everyone, it's Miss Madeline, and I am back to give you my thoughts about our Bible story. Now, there are many things that we can learn from our story about Jesus talking with the Samaritan woman at the well. Perhaps one of the most important things is how Jesus specifically seeks to include the Samaritan woman in his ministry. As I touched on in my telling of this Bible story, Jews like Jesus and Samaritans like this woman, they had a long history together. Jews and Samaritans didn't agree about a lot of things, including where one was supposed to worship God. The Samaritans originally worshipped God on Mount Gerizim. They had a temple up there where they worshipped God. But then the Jews came along and they destroyed this temple. And the Jews said that the only proper place where people were supposed to worship God was at the great temple in the city of Jerusalem. But then later on, the Jews excluded or left out the Samaritans from their worship at the temple in Jerusalem. And so the Samaritans were no longer welcome in Jerusalem. Well, this ended up leaving many Samaritans not really liking the Jews and the Jews not really liking the Samaritans in turn. In fact, the Samaritans and the Jews usually had little to do with one another. They stayed pretty far away from one another and they didn't talk to one another and they didn't use the same things. They pretty much were like, you guys stay in Samaria and we'll stay in Judea and Galilee. And it was only those Jews who were traveling north to Galilee or south down to Judea who would pass through Samaria. But you can bet they would try to do it as quickly as they could. Now, it wouldn't be quite right to say that Jews and Samaritans were enemies. They didn't quite like e not like each other that much. But they just they just didn't particularly care for one another. And so they usually, again, just stayed away from one another. Now, in addition, people in Jesus' culture and Jesus' time, they had some very different feelings about women than we do today. At Jesus' time, uh, women generally didn't speak to men unless they were their own family members or they were their husbands. And women certainly didn't talk with a strange man uh, like all by themselves. In fact, if a strange man was going to speak with a woman, then this man spoke with the woman along with the woman's father or her brother or her husband. So pretty much the men really were speaking mostly to other men. And if uh, their wives or their daughters or their sisters were around, then it was like they kind of just sort of tolerated her in a sense. So it was really looked down upon for a man to speak alone with a woman, especially a woman that this man wasn't related or married to. Now, even more shocking in this story is the fact that Jesus was a Jewish teacher and he was talking to and teaching a woman. Now, at this time, Jewish teachers never talked to, and they certainly didn't teach women. That was just how things were at that time. And they, these Jewish teachers certainly didn't talk or teach a woman all by themselves in like a one-on-one -on -one format. Certainly not when there were no other men around. That just, that just didn't happen. So, in the story, when Jesus' disciples come back from the town and they see Jesus 
talking with a Samaritan woman, you know, alone, Jesus' disciples were just, they were shocked. They were astounded. What Jesus was doing just wasn't done. Jesus was going against all of the cultural rules that a Jewish teacher was supposed to follow. These rules that said that a Jewish teacher was not supposed to be talking to or teaching a woman. And not only that, a Samaritan woman at that. So a Samaritan woman that the Jews were not supposed to really talk with or get along with, period, whether they were men or women. And then Jesus being a Jewish teacher, talking with a woman, it was just like, oh my goodness, this is just nuts. Now, Jesus would have known all of these cultural rules, but Jesus chose to put those aside in order to build a relationship with this Samaritan woman. Jesus put those cultural rules aside because he wanted to share the good news of God with this Samaritan woman. And what's really cool is not only did this Samaritan woman learn about Jesus, but then she went and she told other Samaritans about Jesus. And she invited them to come see Jesus for themselves. And so not only did all these other Samaritans come to see Jesus, but Jesus then took the time to build relationships with all of them. And, and, and in the end, they all came to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. So not only was the Samaritan woman's life changed, but the lives of all the Samaritan people in the town were changed as well. You know, Jesus and the Samaritan woman they show us just what a big impact simply taking the time to talk with someone can actually have. Jesus saw that the Samaritan woman was both a Samaritan and a woman, but he didn't let those things get in the way of him being kind and including this woman, acknowledging her speaking to her and basically becoming her friend. Jesus didn't really care how shocking this all might have seemed or how others, perhaps even his own friends, his own disciples, might have disagreed with what he was doing. Jesus didn't care if others made fun of him or even hurt him for what he was doing. What Jesus cared most about was including this woman in his ministry and then showing her love and kindness and becoming her friend. You know, we can all learn a lot from Jesus's example with the Samaritan woman. All around us are people who look different from us, who think different from us, who act different from us, who speak different from us. But regardless of what others may say or think, or even how they end up treating us, Jesus wants us to welcome everyone as a friend, no matter what they look like, no matter how they act, no matter what they can or cannot do, no matter how they talk, and no matter even how they believe. Jesus loves us all, and he wants us to love everyone as well and to include everyone just as he did. Thank you guys for spending this time with me, hearing my thoughts about our Bible story. 
Uh, Ms. Trace and I would love to hear any thoughts that you might have about this story. We'd love to hear about any questions you have or what you think were some of the most important things that you got out of this story. Feel free to send me an email um, at miv at stmichael.org. And uh, if we hear from you, we might share some of your thoughts in our next uh, story time. So I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>